11 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to K-7's headquarters. This is secret agent K-7 speaking. Send in special agent B-9 for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent B-9 reporting for duty. Agent B-9, I've called you to take over one of the most unusual cases I have ever encountered. Several agents of a nation unfriendly to the one employing both of us in this matter have been seized while traveling under this country's passports. The passports are not counterfeits. Records here prove them to be genuine, although issued fraudulently. I don't need to tell you that their use by enemy agents even though they are fraudulent, has a serious bearing on foreign relations. Somewhere in this city there is a clever master spy. He has friends who are consular representatives, perhaps others. Track him down. Here are the records. The case is yours. Agent B-9 and his assistant, Rita Drake, studied the evidence already collected. Among it were four passports taken from spies arrested in recent months. These B-9 studied with special care. It's, it seems hopeless, Rita. I, I, I can't seem to find anything that will give us our first lead. These passports are all alike. They were even issued by the same clerk. Well, perhaps if we questioned him... No, 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 that wouldn't do. Could easily claim that he issued hundreds each month. B-9, here's something I noticed. Yes? It probably isn't very important, but I was looking at the pictures on the passports with the magnifying glass. Yes? Well, see for yourself. There's a little bump on the edge of each picture. What's that? Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. On this picture, the bump Where? is near the bottom. You see there? Oh, is. yes. Yes, I see. And on the second one, it's on the top edge. Why, you're right, Rita. Those little bumps wouldn't even be noticed except under a magnifying glass. The same bump is on the other two. Oh, where? In the middle of this oh, one. Yes, I see. And on oh. the side of the last. Of course, it couldn't mean anything, but... It means more than you realize, Rita. Those little bumps along the edges of the paper were caused by the photographer's paper cutter. There's probably a nick in the blade. When the photographer finishes a picture... He trims it to the correct size with a paper cutter. Don't you see? Every time the knife comes down, a nick somewhere along its blade caused that small unevenness. Yes, but are those enough to give us a lead? If we're lucky. Rita, tomorrow you're going to spend the day having passport photographs made of yourself. I want you to go to every photographer in the city, if necessary. We're going to find out which photographer took those four pictures on the fraudulent passport. The next
next morning, Agent B-9 went to the Bureau of Vital Statistics and made a record of all who had applied for birth certificates in recent months. While he was thus engaged, Rita visited one photographer's shop after another. Yes, mademoiselle? I'd like to have a passport picture taken, please. A passport photo? Of course, just step this way. Sit here, it will only take a minute. picture taken 18 times, B-9. After I left each shop, I examined the picture with a magnifying glass. Here's the picture taken by the last shop I visited. Oh, let me see it, please. Yes. Yes. There's a little bump. Rita, you've traced the photographer. How many people work in his shop? Do you remember? Why, yes. He was alone. I remember because I had to wait while he went into his dark room and developed the picture. I see. Good. I'm going to let him take my picture. And while he's in his dark room, I'm going to install a dictaphone in his shop. The next afternoon, a large car stopped in front of the photographer's shop. Agent B-9 and Rita watched it from a vacant store next door. A woman got out and entered the photographer's. Pedro? Just a minute. I was developing a print in my dark room. Katarina, I did not recognize you, the light. Uh, did you photograph the blueprints of the harbor defenses that were brought you yesterday? They are ready, on small films. When they reach headquarters, they can be enlarged. Good. Now, I have another job for you. I've brought you four photographs. Headquarters wants them copied for passports. Another passport job, eh? Yes. A man from the consulate will call for these in about an hour. Have them ready. The passports are to be issued this afternoon. I will see that they get there. Deliver the passport photographs and blueprints to Adolf. Uh, we meet as usual at my apartment tonight. Peter is sailing tomorrow morning. He will deliver the passports and films to headquarters. Nine o'clock, as usual. I will be there, Katarina. There's our woman, Rita. Pack the dictaphone set up. Get it into a taxi and take it back into my laboratory. I'm going to follow her and find out where she lives. That night, B-9 and Rita concealed themselves in the hallway outside Katharina Vargas' apartment. They saw two men leave the elevator and enter her rooms. One was the photographer. B-9 waited. About 20 minutes later, the elevator opened, and a third man carrying a briefcase got out. This looks like our man, Rita. He's carrying a briefcase. I'm going to take a chance and arrest him. All right, put up your hands. What is the meaning of this? means you are under arrest. Get his briefcase, Rita. I'll search him. Oh, you can't do this to me. Keep your hands up. All right, put them down. He hasn't a gun, Rita. But keep him covered. I want to see what he's carrying in that briefcase. Turn around and face the wall. Can you get the case open, B-9? Yes, I think so. Yes. Here are the passports. You... And the plans, too. You can't take them. I belong with the consulate. These passports are fraudulent. The people in whose name they were issued are dead. Put your hands behind you. No. No. Don't put handcuffs on me. No, I say. Yes. Yeah. All right, Rita. Bring the elevator up and take this man down to the car. You know what to do. I'm going to take this briefcase and call on Katharina Vargas. Wait for me downstairs. Be careful. Apartment. Is 
Yes. Who are you? I have brought the passports and plans. Adolf uh, could not come tonight. I see. Uh, come in. So Adolf sent you. How is it I've never seen you before? I have just been transferred here. Give me the briefcase. Yes. You will find everything there. Come into my sitting room. The others are in there. Uh, thank you. Uh, gentlemen, this man says that Adolf sent this man instead of coming himself. Uh, so, he has the papers and passport? Yes. What is your name? Uh, Eisen, by the cell. Michael Eisen. He lies. I have seen him before in another country. He is a special agent. I'm afraid you are mistaken, my friend. And I think he's right. Mademoiselle. Search him. Look out, he has a gun. Stand still, all of you. You are quite right, Mademoiselle Vargas. I am a special agent. You are all under arrest for spying, possessing important military information, and on the charge of issuing false passports. Special Agent B-9 reporting, K-7. My investigation is complete. Katharina Vargas was the master spy behind the passport fraud. She has been arrested. A passport photographer and a clerk on the consular staff have also been seized and have confessed. This group, under Katharina Vargas, conducted a spy ring in addition to their passport activities. These military plans, which I leave with you, were seized in their homes and on their persons. The case is closed. Members of the ring responsible for the issuance of fraudulent passports have been convicted and are now in prison. Special agents must maintain constant vigilance, for spies and international crooks have fertile imaginations and are constantly seeking new means of creating trouble. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.